expansion. Some part of that journey was ayahuasca. Yeah. Because you've been with me out to the land a couple of times, haven't you? Yeah. To, to, twice to drink. Been, yeah. Twi- twice I yeah. Um, I, I often uh, speak about it, uh, you know, as, as life changing and, and magic and everything else. But what, what was what was the experience like for you? To tell us about your your journey with, with ayahuasca, uh, from you know, from your end. Um, the first time I tried it, I really didn't know what it was about. Um, mm. I didn't go there with an open heart because obviously, like a lot of the times, you show me something and I'm like, "Do you're gonna come and do this thing?" And this is what it is, and I'm like, "Yeah, whatever." Uh, whatever. What's yeah, I'll, I'll just go. <laughs> I know you're not going to throw me yeah. underneath the bus, so I'll just come along, kick along with you. And I didn't really um, know what to expect at the time because I didn't really know what it was. But then I got to meet um, the shaman there and the yeah. teachers there. And then um, hmm. I remember drinking it, like, you know, going through with the singing and all that stuff and the chanting. And I like, I remember drinking it and I was like, my ADD is going to kick in and I'm going to get real bored and I'm going to get real fidgety and everyone's mm-hmm. going to get angry here. Mm-hmm. And I like drank it and I just like lying down and like, it's not real. Nothing's going to happen. Yeah. What's this room? It's dark. I can't even see anybody. Yeah. We've been and I'm there. like lying We've all been down there. and then 20 minutes later, I was like, wow. Boom. <laughs> Everything's just like, um, like seeing visions. Yeah. Um, I remember the first time around, I, um, we're seeing a lot of famine, you know, like a lot of famine and a lot of like quite scary things. It was like my, my 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 visions were like in black and white, so it wasn't mm. like they say that you usually see colours, but I was seeing can, like yeah. um a lot of famine and a lot of people We've in hospital beds. Just a little bit, brother, yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah. Um like in hospital beds and stuff and yeah. so called things. And I didn't really know what to take of it and stuff. Mm. But I clearly remember that vision and then yeah, I just let me help left. you with that bro just stretch it out and put it in front of you let's rest the arm out yeah oh yeah like there that. you go my brother thank you yeah. now we can hear you nice and clear okay um the manly voice of yours yeah. <laughs> but yeah that's what happened and then um after that i just th- didn't think much of it i thought oh, yeah well, it was a great experience and then i'd be like maybe uh, i don't know how many months later you was you were going again and i was like Oh, we're gonna go again. All right, I'll kick along mm. again and have a look mm. and see what it's like again. And then the second time around, well, I was more familiar that I was gonna get visions and I was more, a bit more expected. Yeah, of course. Yep. Um, yep. Like anything, second time around is different. Mm. And I was like, oh, let's let's just try this again, see what happens again. And then I was just like, my visions this time were like uh, pixels. They would look like honeycombs, and it was very colourful and bright. Mm. Um, and I remember like <laughs> seeing it, like. There was a certain stage when I was vision, envisioning things, but then I wanted to get out of it because it's quite strong. And but then it then started mellowing out, and then mm. it was just like seeing visions, seeing this, that, and yeah. the other. Um. Well, I tell you what I what I see because sometimes um, it's very hard for us to recognize what's going on around us. Sometimes it's good to have a, you know like a second pair of eyes or whatever. But a lot of what the ayahuasca does is actually not. Um, the visions or the dream or the actual ceremony a lot of it comes after yeah and it's just a, an organic process of you know uh improvement or or sometimes sometimes you actually have to go through some shit to to get to, to get, where yeah. you want to be yeah um but um again so a, a lot of people speak about oh yeah the lights and the patterns and you know i've drank many 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 30 something times but um the 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 cool thing is what happens after and 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 putting into practice a lot of these thoughts and and downloads and bits of information and visions that come when you're in that higher plane of consciousness because yeah. ultimately that's what psychedelics do to us they put us in a higher plane a higher state of consciousness and humanity's been doing that for Many, for many tens of thousands of years, we, we're we're the idiots now that think we're so civilized that psychedelics and these drugs are, are no good, and we ban them. But they're, they're they're necessary, and and as a matter of fact, a lot of people say that the reason why we are where we are as a humanity, as in advanced, quote unquote, um, is due to psychedelic substances that they've opened up the brain, all these different parts of the brain, and they've you know, they've brought us, brought us to where we are today. But um, I think, 
over time th- there might be some influences there in your life in your practical life yeah. that you're probably not too aware of but what I will s- continue saying to you is that for you and for all of us I think you should definitely make the time to to go again yeah to, to come with us 100%. again and um, yeah because I'll, I'd very much welcome welcome you to do that I'm sure you're getting a lot of uh, first-hand info from brother Nick about his experiences you know, experiences yeah, yeah. He is the most frequent flyer of all flyers on earth. <laughs> yeah. He's got the Space Cowboy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's got a lot of times. The, the Space Cowboy brand um, nickname. Yeah. And even the brother Paulie's been once with me. Um, that was a bit of a crazy wild night for you, wasn't it, Paulie? Yeah, I especially got kicked out of the group as well. Don't worry, brother. You're not the only one. I, I've been kicked out many times. <laughs> But I got um, kicked out. I Josh got kicked out. out. Josh got, got kicked out, all right? <laughs> Fuck. Josh got kicked out. But yeah, pa- Paulie got kicked out too. You know what I think is, bro? I mean, but, you know, us wogs, we're just like that. Um, <laughs> yeah, but I, you know what? In my head, I was saying I wanted to get kicked out. Because you to wanted go to go outside. outside. Yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah. You probably couldn't um, bring yourself to get out there, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. what's funny? Like, when he chucked me out, like, I thought he wasn't real. <laughs> like yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Spirit. around. Nah, he, he, what do you think? It was some like... Spirit guide yeah, take me to my yeah. death. <laughs> Don't worry, well, I'll tell you a funny story. So that second night was the night you got kicked out, no? Yeah, yeah. Or was it the first night? Nah, the second night. All right. And there was a few of us there. I think it was the biggest group I've ever taken. It was like... No, nah, it was me, you, Pete, um, somebody like... And um, Tamara. But, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but yeah. that night, wasn't it Freddie there as well? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Wait, no, 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 he wasn't ah, there. Okay, that's the second I, time. Yeah. Right, so I'll get him mixed up. I'll yeah, yeah. And, and it's a few years back. But so so I I am deep in a in a in an ayahuasca <laughs> dream, which is a um, it's an amazing place to be. I mean, the, 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 there can definitely be some some tough things that you got to face up to, or you got to work on your breathing or whatever. But I'm having a great time. I'm I'm, I'm journeying. I'm downloading all this information and going. I'm traveling up and down with the Icaros and, and, and the songs that the shamans are playing. And, and all of a sudden I hear, someone comes up to me and goes, Raf, Raf. <laughs> what? Raf, you got to talk to Josh. I'm like, what? And now I'm, I'm coming down from this mountain. I'm, on a, I'm, 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 I'm not even on a mountain. I'm near the moon, brother. <laughs> yeah. And I'm coming down slowly, you know. And they're, Raf, Raf. You gotta, and it's a, it's, it's a woman. You know, Raf, Raf. <coughs> you got to talk to Josh. He's being too loud. And I'm thinking, who the fuck is... And, I, and then I, I, I kind of came to, and, and I realized it was the lady shaman. And, um, and she goes, yeah, yeah, Raf, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm like, yeah, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> she goes, you gotta, you got to talk to Josh. He's being too loud. And I'm like, you fucking cunt, Josh. Ruin my fucking... <laughs> and then I can hear you. Because now, now I'm in the present. And it was super, it was silent. They stopped playing music, which is the worst thing too. Because you can hear everything. You can hear yeah. people's breathing and vomiting and shit. And so I'm like, and you're like, Rafi, <laughs> where are you? I can't see you. And it's pitch black. Yeah, for, all, for all of you that don't know, it's pitch black. Like literally, you can't see your <laughs> No lights, hand, nothing. nothing nada. It's so dark, I think yeah. it's because of the country or something, but you can't see No, no, see no. That, that, that's part of the thing because you can't be stimulated by light or, you know, you want to you be... Because, you know, if you've got light and you're seeing others and everything, you're going to be completely thrown off. You, you, you're in a journey, right? So, so anyway, so... And, and I'm like, Josh, Josh, <laughs> where are you? I can't see you. <laughs> Rafi, where are you? And you're like two people over, so it's not like I can reach over and go, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and I, can't, I, can't, I tried moving, but I couldn't move, but I was, I was jelly. Yeah? That's the night that I actually, I was above my body, about two meters above my body, and when I tried to move, I literally had to do it as, like a puppet as if I'm pulling the strings of my arm. <laughs> anyway, it was, it, was, it, was, it was awesome until you wrecked it. Um, <laughs> so anyway, so, so I'm like, Josh, and you're like, yeah, where are you? I'm saying, Josh, shut the fuck up. Josh, you got to shut up, bro. You're being too loud. You know, oh, where are you? I said, Josh, listen to me. And the people next to me are laughing. I can hear them going, <laughs> Josh, shut up. Anyway, 
So Josh shuts up. Well, at least I thought you shut up. And, and uh, actually, you did shut up for that moment. And now, boom, I'm off again. They started back with the Icaros and cha 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 cha. And I'm off, man. I'm, I'm, I'm in the stratosphere again because that, that brew was strong. Man. Yeah. It was amazing. And anyway, I, I, maybe it was an hour later, 15 minutes. God knows. You lose, you lose track of time when, when you're journeying like yeah. that. And uh, the, the, the male shaman comes up to me now. He goes, hey, brother, brother. I'm like, what? Come with me, brother. <laughs> wow. Where are we going? You got to come with me, brother. Come with me now, brother. Stand up. I'm like, oh, I need help. So he, he, he kind of sort of picked me up, yeah? And slowly, slowly, and I'm trying to be mechanical, you know, to... to but he's got, he's got a hold of me, yeah? He's not letting me go. He's, he's a tall guy, you know? Shout out to the brother. And uh, so he's walking me out real slowly. And I'm, I'm jelly, man. Lucky he's literally, with his, <laughs> with his right leg, he's walking my left leg, like sort of real, like pushing it and, and like, right? So we, we slowly make our way. And, and the journey across the room was 10 meters, but it took like, I don't know, two and a half minutes or something. <laughs> and along the way, I'm thinking, oh my God, man, this is awesome. We're going, we're going to have like a, an initiation ceremony or something <laughs> different, you know, like a VIP, <laughs> you know, or we're going to have like some mapacho, smoke some mapacho, or, uh, or do something, you know, like, I don't know, because I really don't know these shamans, but I know that they got some other shit, you know, like yeah. they do, you know, whatever. And we go outside, and I remember I, I could see in the in the balcony because yeah, the the hallway the stars and and everything. No, no, because I can see out. No, because it, it was out in the uh, in that veranda thing. Yeah, you know? and I see this. And I'm that like, oh felt like God, long. What are we doing? This is amazing, you know. And I get there, <laughs> and who's there? <laughs> fucking Josh Lim, fucking boxing, <laughs> sitting down, and they go to me, Raf, Raf. I go what? And it was that the lady shaman was there. She was kind of looking after you. And they go to me, you got to look after your friend Josh, yeah? you got to look after him. He's being very loud. Uh, you gotta look. You got to help him. you got to help him, yeah? And I'm, I, I, I can imagine my face because I was like, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. anyway. I go, all right, all right, all right. And so I went and sat down next to you. It was freezing, <laughs> yeah. freezing. Middle of winter in... Very, very cold. Baff what was it? Anyway, I it was know, like... Down south somewhere. Down somewhere south far. somewhere. Freezing, yeah. and uh, and I sit next to you, and I remember, and, and they gave us a blanket, yeah. So we're like we're a little bit warm up, but we were still freezing, local. So I remember literally, because and, and you were freezing too, even though you weren't fucking responding. I grabbed the carpet. There was like a yeah, carpet that, that thing, rug. Of, yeah, that rug thing, yeah. And I put it on top of our legs, and that's how we sort of huddled. And anyway, and I, I reckon I spent the next. It felt like five hours, but it was probably an hour with you sitting next to me, and I'm like, Joshy, man. Chill, hermano, you know, look at the stars, how beautiful, you know, connect with the... And I'm going off on my own tangent, but sort of trying to speak to you at the same time. And every every couple of minutes, you look at me and go, Rafi, loud ass, left Rafi, with your eyes closed, next to me like this. Where are you? I can't see you. And I'm like, dude, I'm fucking right next to you, dickhead. And I'm like, but where, but where? I'm like, loco, here, open your eyes. I, I, I can't see. I can't. Where are you? I'm like, ah, right, Joshy, man. This is why you got to stop, brother. This is why you've been kicked out of the room. <laughs> we want to go back in there, man. It's very cold out here. Come on, brother. Like, chill, relax, and think about the stars. And this and, that. and I'll go off again. And then it was again. But, 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 where are you? I can't see you. Anyway, that repeated over like 15 fucking times. And at the end of it, I was like, Josh, come on, man. Let's Please, brother, let's go back inside. And anyway, we went back inside, but... Unfortunately, little Joshy got banned from <laughs> <laughs> from going back to the ceremony. <laughs> when we left, we all got on the on the on our cars to go back home, and the shamans are like, "Oh, thank you, brother. God, you know, God bless you. Good to see you." Yeah, Listen, so like, Listen uh, Joshy, yeah, maybe don't bring him back. <laughs> <laughs>